Oh, this is Bonsai Anonymous again, and uh, some more bonsai soil. Here's a bucket here. So now the next thing is to find out what this is doing. It's coming through, no? So let's just take some of the leaves out here. See what we have. A lot of dirt in here. Um, I've been here for a while. There's no label enough on the way it probably needs to move. I've killed a couple of avocados in the last two weeks, and that's rare. I don't usually do that. Okay, so we get it out, we just squish it. That should do it. And we're just going to get you on there. Okay, so there we go. Right, so you can, this is for later. Alright, so let's look and see what we have. This chair is an old office chair. And you die. Okay, let's see better days. Okay, so let's just look at this now. Yeah, it's kinda it's not wet. Um not wet. Let's get a rake out here. Get a rake and I'm gonna mess with these new pots until I break them. That's what happens. Okay, let's get over right here. Mm. Uh, I can't. I can't do this anymore. This thing I right just gotta gotta change a little bit. Uh, this is going to be out. Be, oops. Let's just know. It's falling off here. Okay. So you get to see not just my work here, but my travails. You know, I've got travails. And, uh, those aren't so good. You don't want to travail. You know, you know, really. so, what I really would like to see. And do that. Let's just keep looking for the bamboo. Yes. Nice. Let's see the bamboo. Okay, good. Bamboo. It's the cheapest thing I have. Okay, so this is when it's planted. It's really not going to be planted that differently than now. More or less like that. You know, more or less like that. Okay, so, um, we are going to uh, some new soil. Peter says, uh, don't take any more than a third of the root ball or something. I can't remember what he says. But, um, you know, if, if, the, if the soil is kind of dry like this, it comes off pretty easy. And uh, this has been in here for a long time. In what probably went directly from the glass where it was growing right to here. So I'm going to try to not take so much. Right. What I need is I need something for it to, to hold it up. Like that. So we're going to take some more from here. I don't know that around. Oh, oh, oh. So that, I was just saying. These lava rocks uh, really tell you how old this plant is. It's back when I was putting in lava rocks. Oh, that's not lava rocks. And, um, oops. Oh, that's not good. And, and that's what I did when I was a kid, when I would plant things. I would put rocks in the bottom. And, and of course, we were in Montana, so they were you know, pebbles from the creek and so forth. Um, I didn't do a lot of planting with this in high school and young high school. That's okay. Um, you don't really need to hear my whole life story, I don't think. Okay, so there's quite a few roots there, but there's so many here, so I think we'll be okay. Um, we need to figure out a way to get rid of this. This is 
Okay. So, not good dirt. Okay, well, now this is the bonsai soil right here. And I have to look at this to see how it could be done. All right, so it needs to go. I'm going to plant it right here. Like that. Uh, let's bring it down a little bit. Plant it like that. And um, plant it like that and let these try to get these to go up a little bit. I don't know. I'm not sure if you're supposed to put it, actually put it in the ground. I know we don't, I know we want to make it so it doesn't fall over and so far we're not close. Uh, so some of the ones I've seen have big lumps at this end of the picture. Because they need a lot of dirt to hold on to. So we'll do that. So I need a lot over there. I do it on the turn table, um, but the, um, it's not, there isn't really a lot of room here to, to do that. So. Um, is it holding up yet? No? Okay, so that's where it needs to be. Like that. Put it back a little. I really would like that not to be there, that and that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just put this a little. There's the green scoop. There it is. The deal is that this plant fell over. And um, now it's going from several different spots on this truck that fell over. That's going to not want to do that. So let's put it on the side. That's where it needs it. So it will figure it out. It's not listing that much. As they say, nautically, it's not listing that much. Um, okay, so what we want is, sooner or later, we want these to be up. And so we're going to do it this way. It's going. What does that mean? The phone just made a sound. It's probably not good. I need mean, this out. Use. It shouldn't be. Okay, now, how do we hold this from doing this? How do we? It's a very small movement. But, uh, I don't really want to mess with it. I don't even know why I'm going to get this to stay with it. That's proving to be. Not that easy. Okay, so this is one tree. Get you out of there. That. And we're going to bend you. This one can go up. This one goes up. And this one is going to go up. Okay, so. Alright, so. Oh, it's stay. No. Uh, let me think about this for a second. Earlier uh, this week, I, I did some guy wire, so that's not the word for just tying it to the edge of the uh, pot. I don't know if I could do that here. Um, you know, rip. Yeah. Yeah, I could do it. All right, so what you need is a, a serious wire, one that's not apt to. Um, give out. Um, and as I look at this more sooner or later, I'm going to just say we'll just let it fall where it wants to fall. Um, okay. So, I don't know if I have the room to do this. This, I want this to go like this. 
over it that far. At least. So first, we get our athletic tape. This one has already been, I'm sure you can see that uh, in there. Can you see that? I hope so. I hope it's pointing that direction. Um, hmm. Anyway, these are the scar scars from the previous wiring, which was seriously uh, overdone. This is vet tape, and all we do with it is we just wrap the spot. And it's going to have the guy, well, that, you know, it's a wire, it, it's actually going to be a wire, but it's not the usual kind. Of so let's do that. I don't think this will stick to itself. It doesn't feel like it will. Eh, okay. okay. So this, this wire that I'm bending here is easily strong enough to move that over where I want it. Um, the problem is that so, It's not going to look professional. I can virtually promise you that. Um, number two. Number two is a duck. Um, he's one of the, the creatures you'll see here uh, frequently. Last night I met a couple more, maybe three more. Um, You are going to go like that. that. Alright. Got to get the wire cutter out for this. This is, this is a little more serious wire. I usually use. So this is going to take this down here like this. Um, I think that there are many, many more elegant ways to do this than what I'm doing. Um, many. Uh, in fact, some of the, some of these ways I've done this, the, the, it just goes ahead and comes right back off. I mean, it's not doesn't hold at all. Um, so this is hooks on there. Like this. Yeah, maybe I can drag you over here somewhere. Like that. And take you a little farther. That. I might not have picked the best spot up here. Um, you don't want to dig it up further down. Okay, is that going to hold it? Pretty much, yeah. No. Okay, so. so up here. This. Alright, so that's not working. I usually have to try five or six things before I figure out something. Um, I really, what I really need is a hole in this, and uh, do I have anything that can do that? No, no chance. Um, no paper punch, no nothing. Okay, so let's just look at this for a second. Why do I dare just leave it that way? Hmm. 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 
All right, we're gonna try it again at the bottom. Because it, it was falling off at the top. And that means that this has to be lowered. Oops. Could just leave it on and put another one on, but... One thing I noticed from the videos that I really don't hear or notice too much out here is all the bird sounds and um, plenty of them. I mean, I hear all sorts of them out here, if I think about it. Uh, we have birds, and so the sound of birds is not something that catches my attention uh, like it might if, if, if I wasn't so familiar with them. Um, there were, there were some years when we were a 501c3 uh, animal rescue um, non-profit. And uh, what we res rescued primarily were, let's see here, were um, parrots. We're going to dry it, cut you right here. This might be one of those uh, Dagwood deals where, uh, I don't know if you, you're old. If you're old, <laughs> you might know about Dagwood, but Dagwood, of course, was a husband that tried to repair things and didn't usually work out very well. Um, and, um, let's see. I'm going to have to go. Right there. Might not work. Might not be. Might be too far. Okay. All right. So we're hooking here, pulling you over. That's just a little too far. Yeah. And I have pliers to do things like this with. Pliers okay. So that's too far. So we're going to straighten it up if we can. And we're going to take it down here. So that might do it. And I'm touching around with this, and I'm, I just hope I'm not disturbing the plant too much. Oh. Can we get to the idea? Okay, good. Now, all right, so that's pulling that over like I want it to. And if I'm lucky, I won't, I won't pull it right over and off the, you know, the face of the earth. Um, okay, so. Now, this is what I'm going to do, I think, is um, clip a little bit off here. It's just too big. And um, let me tell you about how you do this. See how leggy that is up there? And, it, and the, there's nothing in between. Here. It's just way con too confusing in here. So we're gonna just get rid of a few of these down here. And with I hope we won't take any that make it so it can't make it. But we need to see the trunks. And uh, this could be just one plant. Um okay, so this has to go right here where it went before. And we don't want that coming back, so we're going to do this. Okay. Now I'm getting to the point where I can see a little bit here better. Um, are we still running? Yeah, yeah we are. Uh, but we're about out of battery, so let me get this done quickly. So, what I don't understand about raft, raft, bonsai, is everything. Pretty much everything. So these aren't going to go down there. 
And I don't think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Hard block to right there, so we're going to take it right there. That's pretty hard. So is there a plan arising here? <laughs> so you, when you do this, do you make, this is the, the, the raft, and this is pulling it over a little. I don't know how much of that raft we're supposed to see. I don't know. Okay, so if I kill the avocado, please forgive me, everybody. Um, and uh, if I lose my scissors, these, are, these aren't too bad. The only problem I have is, Scissor seems to be that I um, uh, pinch myself with them a lot. Okay, so leaving that, he's going to be like this. So let me do it now. So. Do a little hook like that. Do a little hook like that. Okay. All right. So, so what do you think? What do you think? Now, to celebrate, <clears throat> we're going to open up uh, our next bag of um, fertilizer. And we went to Lowe's, and we have this, and. Uh, why do I have this? Because it's hard for me to find, impossible really, it seems, to find a uh, 10 10 10 fertilizer here. So you think that a nice even number like that would just roll off the assembly line? But no. Okay, so. There's my thing. Okay, so. This is it. I mean, it's done. But we're going to put some of this on it. Uh, one problem with having it be this color is that it's not that easy to see where you've been. Um, it's not impossible, but it's just not that easy. So I had to be able to turn this a lot easier now. Um, here's the question for you. Those of you who are listening, both of you. Uh, oh, one left? I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, the question is, um, what side is the front of this thing? So I'm glad that we found this this, uh, this uh, fertilizer, which is almost what I want. Almost. Uh, it's 12, 10, 12 10, 10 And uh, why am I fixated on 10, 10, 10? Well, because I'm in it more or less, but uh, really because um, I read some things that that's what you should do. Okay, so that's all done, but before I move on, I'm going to get my little bag here and put some of these in. Give that to me. Just enough to make it a little faster. This is, the, I don't know how many of you are old enough to have heard the phrase, Kilroy was here. And um, it was a little, actually, I would say it was a meme. A, a Kilroy, his nose and his eyes over a wall, looking at everybody. That that's, might have been one of the first memes. No, couldn't be. Couldn't be one of the first. But uh, it definitely is one. Um, instantly recognizable. And um, as far as I know, uh, Kilroy was a person, and uh, I think that he did uh, use that little uh, cartoon that everyone else use, uses to um, show that he was here. I think it. I think it started with him. Okay, so that's that, and um, you know. That's not the front. How about this side? Yeah, I think, you know what? 
you think this is the front? All right, well, let's get our little thing here. I looked up front again in Japanese, and once again, my uh, the words, the symbols that I'm using came up. This was slanted on the end. Two, one, two. Okay, so that's the front. And this one is ready to go. Go back over and get water. It's not going to end up going here at once. It's, it's pretty close to the ground. In fact, make it right on the ground. And so I don't want to ha uh, have this, uh, what's the word, disrupted buddy on the ground. So what I'm going to do All right, so what's next? Um, we have to do, we have something to do with that. Yeah, and I'll talk about this while I do it. Um, this is a, a Virginia Creeper and uh, I have this new book by uh, Peter Chan called the, um, I think it's called the Bonsai Bible. And um, there is a Virginia creeper in there that is just stunningly uh, beautiful. Um, red leaves, and you know, this is not that far from it as far as how it looks. Uh, these little leaves are coming out. There's a, I see a red one there. Okay, so this isn't the Virginia creeper. We're doing avocado raft to 24, 24. Okay. There. And we find one of the green ones. I'm running out of the, no, there's a couple of other ones. I am kind of low on them, but and I ordered some more of the white ones. Okay, so now I've said what is with that. So this is a Virginia creeper, and uh, it was put in this pot on the um, 18th of last year. So let's just look and see what we have here. It's really pretty, it's not too compacted, I don't think. And the fact that the tree is, is doing well is is a testament to it. I, I can't tell you if, if these trees um, lose their leaves. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's one of the things I can't seem to keep track of. But it, it says it was fertilized. That's what this means. I don't see any. And that, that doesn't I mean, I don't know what that means. We're going to do it again. And I'll tell you one thing that I don't think I'll ever be able to do. If you, if you really and really want to do this right, you know all the trees, their names, when they're supposed to be fertilized, because not everybody's the same. And, um, you know, what you have to do with to prune them and how they uh, take to various things you might do, how they accept or don't accept them. Um, I'll just, I'll never learn all that. I mean, I do have a book. I won't even look it up because it's just, well, for one thing, I don't know. That's, that's, the, that's the main thing. Okay, so we didn't really do anything with them except fertilize them, and we're not trimming them. So we will get rid of a few of these leaves. Oh, I've got some of them. Two twigs. Now, some people might say that this little plant that's growing here should be taken up. And, and you've seen me take plants out a lot that are you know, ones I don't want in certain situations. I just like these, and I, I still don't know what they are. And um, I think they came to my yard in a pot that I got a, um, what's it called? 
Um, yeah, I can't think of the name of it right now. But um, and that pot uh, had a plant in it that's growing really well. And then sooner or later, these uh, four-leaf clover-like things came up. And um, okay. I really want to find that. Um, I need no, that not work. There it is. Okay. Um, this I have to use this on on this plastic because it won't it won't uh, show up if I use black. Okay, so let's put our little symbol on it. This is the front. We're not repotting it. Okay. That's not great. Okay, so what did we do today? All we did was uh, fertilize, aerate. Okay, and um, I don't, I haven't seen anyone else do that, the aerating thing where. And, and how I do it mostly is, is uh, one of these. I know I have some here. Hmm. I do. I do have some. I do. I do. I do. Here's one. And there's a whole bunch of new ones in there. But this is this is aerating. And um, if I'm lucky, I won't be killing all the roots while I do this. I'm just making some room, getting the soil a little loose. Uh, I used to do this around house plants. I don't know who told me to. And I don't know. Okay, so these are a little more festive. And you can be watered. Put them down here for the moment. And then, let's see how we're doing with power here. Oh, close. I don't know how long we'll be able to go. Um, but I have. Really, one more thing to do, and um, okay, this, well, maybe I don't have enough funds, I say. So maybe what I'll do instead of get into this today is put it up on here. So you can see, this is a silver buttonwood. Take this off of here. 